Yeah, this one is interesting, and it's also alarming scientists. The beautiful coral reefs are being destroyed, and all signs are pointing to the effects of a very strong El Nino. According to one, one report, more than a third of the coral reefs are being threatened, and many of them at one point will be gone for good. Dolphins lead the way on a visit to the Kiridimity Island for Dr. Kim Cobb's research team. But the beauty at the surface can hint at the horror underneath. The world's coral reefs are in mortal danger. According to Dr. Cobb, 80% of the corals are dead at her research site. The reason? Hot ocean waters caused by the strongest El Nino conditions ever recorded. It's very hard to witness what I saw last month on our expedition. Um, personally, a, a blow that took me multiple hours of seeing things with my own eyes to even believe it was uh, like watching one of your children suffer. The planet has seen El Ninos before. The El Nino effect, which raised water temperatures in the Pacific Ocean, is blamed for part of this year's strange weather. This record-breaking El Nino, experts say, is but a glimpse of the extreme weather to come. The problem is with this event being so long, you're seeing bleaching repeatedly in many locations. And, and that's far worse than just having single bleaching events. Coral bleaching occurs when overly warm water interferes with the algae that helps support life. If bleaching goes too far, the coral dies. And it can have a ripple effect because coral reefs are the lifeblood of all the fish and other sea creatures who depend on them for nutrients and protection. And half a billion people rely on coral reef marine life for food. It can be mentally and emotionally draining because you go onto a reef that should be beautiful and multicolored. Instead, everything is white and barren. The fish are not behaving the way they normally would. Cobb knows it will take decades for her research site to recover, if at all. The big question is, will it have decades to recover? Or when will the next El Nino event come along that's going to push this reef again past the breaking point and lead to a mass mortality event? But despite it all, she says she still has hope. You can't help but notice that there are survivors on this reef. Very, very few. But emotionally, you're drawn to them, and scientifically, you're very drawn to them. There's a story of hope in there. Just yesterday, a new study showed that there was bleaching on 93% of the Great Barrier Reef, a statistic that they say is very troublesome. And, you know, it's interesting because we talk about El Nino all the time. It creates a lot of flooding in Texas, which we've seen, strong storms in Florida, which we've seen, the mountain snow out west. But you never really think about what happens under the water, and it's the water that we're talking about so when it comes to sure. El Nino. So it, it's it so is beautiful very to see, and you realize we just don't want to mess with it. You know? Yeah. Dylan, thank you for that.